Hello everyone, greetings. This is Eric, KJ4YZI with Ham Radio Concepts, having a blast up here at Huntsville, Alabama at the Giga Parts store and got to check out some more stuff that I wasn't really familiar with. So they showed me the Chameleon M-Pass antenna system. And I wasn't too sure about this, but when I started reading, wow, what an amazing antenna for a lot of different types of Ham Radio operators. M-Pass modular portable antenna system. What does that mean? Modular meaning you can take different parts of this and make it how you want it. If you wanted it to be a wire, a sloper, an envis, a, a man pack vertical, it's all contained in this system right here. So they give you a lot of options. And for those who are summits on the air, parks on the air, uh, climbers, uh, people on the islands, people at field day, somebody that's HOA restricted and they just don't have a place or a permanent setup and you want to set this thing up on a contest during a weekend and take it down in your backyard, this antenna system right here is practical for a lot of different uses. And I'm going to show you how um, and what this MPAS by Chameleon Antenna. And this is the MPAS 2.0. They've revised this from the original one and tweaked it just a little bit. I've never used the original, but this one is sure impressive. Let me show you about this. Okay, <clears throat> so everything is in here. I'm going to open this up and show you how this modular antenna system is designed. And what we might do is take it outside for a brief moment. It's beautiful outside here in Huntsville and just show you what it would look like in a full setup. Um, and then in the future, I might end up grabbing one of these. I do have the Chameleon uh, P-Loop 2.0, which is again, man packable. And I might check this out in the future and add this to my QRP kit because this is really cool. So the first thing you have here is this is your extension pole. Now this extension pole can mount on the bag so you can go up a mountain when you're hiking and take it all with you. Um, these are, uh, they call it a mill extension um, and it's got the rubber bungees inside. So basically if you're using this, and I'm gonna show you, there's multiple ways to set this up. But with this, you know, these poles, you see they're joined with these bungees. You can put one there. You could put one like this. And they're attached like that. Okay, this is your extension. Now let me go through the bag here and show you a couple of things of what's in here. Um, and this bag sure does have a lot of pockets on it. So you could really fit other things in here if you're out there portable or man packing or wherever. Okay. So the first thing is their hybrid mini. This is your matching transformer, okay? This is basically what allows you to use this antenna 160 meters through six meters with a tuner. This is essentially your feed points can go at the bottom of the antenna and it's got a three eighths by 24 stud male on one side and a female on the other. So let's get to this. This is their chameleon mini hybrid. This is your ground spike, your, your uh, spike to mount this. Now we have a, a pickle bucket with sand that we can shove this in, but you can put this in the ground. It's got a spike on it, so you can stab this into the ground and set this up. It's got a lug here for your counterpoise wire, and this essentially, now this is one way of doing this, okay? If you want to use this as a vertical, you can screw this on. Then you can take your extension, okay? Your extension on this side will screw on like this, okay? This will go spiked in the ground. <clears throat> okay. Then another part, this is the portable HF whip antenna, the mill 2.0. Now this antenna by itself unfolds with the bungees in it and can go on the top of this. You'll have a total of almost 18 feet um, as a vertical for uh, with a tuner 160 through six meters, or you can take this extension off. Okay and you can use this with the little matching transformer by itself for 26 through 54 megahertz, okay? So it depends on what you wanna do. Are you just working 10 and six meters, even 11 meters? Um, but this will, again, open up like this. It's got brass with the bungees inside and basically sets up like this, you see? And I'll show you outside when we have more room, but this little vertical here by itself can be used as man pack portable. So let's say you want this thing on the transformer like this, all right? One, two, three, you throw your tail wire, which comes with it, I'll show you. And here first would be your first option for a man pack portable, 26 through 54 megahertz, right? The counterpoise wire, 25 feet of it with ring terminals on there, would go on the red or tail wire, go on the red post and you'll lay that out, okay? Right there you have one idea. Or, 
Now we can, when we go outside, because it's going to be too long for the room here, we could take this, attach it to the extension, and put the little whip on top of the extension. Now you'll have like an 18 foot vertical with the tail wire, and you could have all bands with a tuner, okay? But wait, there's more. Now let's say you don't want to use a vertical. Let's say you want to use a sloper, or you want an inverted V, or you want an uh, inverted L. No problem. Now, you take this um, matching transformer off, okay? And there's another little piece in here. And this little piece allows you to use the included, um, excuse me, the included wire, 73 feet of wire, to make a N-fed or a sloper or a L like this, okay? There's a piece in here in this bag. And what it has is a little nut, 3 8 by 24. And you would take this now, put your ring terminal between the nuts, put this on here, okay? And attach, you know, your wire. Now you have your wire running off of it. You can run your wire up, you can run your wire up and then down, you can run your wire in an L, okay? Or let's go even further. Now we could take this mini off with this piece that's on here, and we could hang this from a tree, run the feed line down, and then up in the tree 20 feet, have your wire going over and down or up or slope down. It depends on what you want to do. This is modular because you can set it up any way you want. You want a small vertical, you want a big vertical. You want an inverted L, you want it hanging, you want it low to the ground, you want it sloping up or sloping down. It's all here. Also, the RG58 coax that comes with it, and it's got the sausage, or I call it sausage, it's a ferret here to keep common mode RF from coming back down the, um, back down the uh, uh, feed line to your antenna, uh, so you don't get RF in the shack or in your radio. So with all this, we have several options. So what we're gonna do outside is we're gonna go out and set it up. I'll show you an example in the bucket of the little vertical, the extended vertical, and then with the wire set up. Okay, so Steve, let me get the bucket real quick yep. and we're gonna use one of the fiberglass poles after for the wire to show you how that would work. For the meantime, uh, here, go ahead and set this up. I'll get my uh, little spike out of here. We got the spike, I'm gonna put the, uh, I'm gonna take this off here. Okay, pop that off. And I guess just, oh yeah. That's a good idea. I love that bucket. That's wow. Look at that. that ain't going nowhere. What kind of sand is that? Is that Alabama gold? That is. <laughs> okay, Thanks, so man. so here first. Um, this is. Good. Well, hold this. Let me get the other one out yep. so we can put that on. Here would be just a vertical, like this, for 26 to 54 megahertz. Okay, this would be right there not too big and you don't have to have a bucket the man pack here is designed where you can stick that thing in put it through the loop and just have it set up right there so i'll give you an idea what this looks like not too big right that's uh, about uh 10 just over 10 feet out of that bucket and the counterpoise wire you can attach on the bucket here and just run it out uh, your little tail wire and that will allow you 26 to 54 megahertz now you want a little bit more okay so we'll take this off and we'll put it on the extension. Okay, now this will allow you a vertical with a tuner, 160 meters through six meters, and it'll be a little taller. Height is might, right? Okay, this is not so heavy. Yeah, not so heavy. I think the wind loading won't be so bad. Will you be able to guide me on there? That'll be a little tough by myself. Okay. Oh, you gotta turn it, this is slipping. There you go. Okay. Okay. 160 through 54 megahertz. Now that I don't know if would be suitable with a uh, backpack. You might want to stick that in the ground with the spike. Um, and the wind loading, it's, it's very light. So I don't think that's going to be too bad as far as, you know, the wind blowing. It's not going to catch much. It's not very heavy, but pretty cool stuff there. Now let me show you what else you could do with it. Okay. Now what we can do is we could take one of the wires here and screw this into this little transformer. Now you could take your wire like this and you could start running it out. So you could have it sloping and I don't want to do this because I don't have too many trees out here. I do, but I don't want to run it all the way out. 
Now, you can see here we have the wire, okay? You have the feed point in the bottom, run the wire up 73 feet, like to light pole or the top of the gigapart store there, and have it sloping up. Or what have you done before, uh, Steve? You know, you got these rings here. What would you say uh, in your experience? You know, could, could, you do it, could you do it like this where you can have a feed point up, up, you know, half of it? You could do an inverted V. Like this, inverted V, but that would be an N-fed inverted V, right? Fed inverted B. Okay. Inverted L. Inverted L. Inverted L. L would, you know, come here, you know, tie it off to something and then run the remaining wire Okay, so, so you'd have it like that? Yep. Like an inverted L. Okay, and, and each one of those would give you sort of different uh, angles of radiation or, or, or uh, signal. Um, signal patterns. Signal yes. patterns, right. Okay. What about uh, if you put, you know, you could put this feed point up and have this this is the other end of it the end i could run this with an insulator have it all the way up and run it down correct correct i can go from the top of that building uh and feed it down and have it a sloper which which what kind of gets it the angle up that take -off angle. okay very good so a lot of options with this and the best part is it all fits in this bag so uh this is something that i think i really want because of the fact that I don't do too much portable these days because I'm just so busy, but the time is coming. I have a go kit. I have islands out there in the river. I have a jet ski to get there. There's coming a time where I'm going to be doing a lot of portable stuff. I have three portable radios. I have different portable antennas. I mean, I have the options. I have the stuff. I just don't have the time. What would you think about this portable, uh, Steve? What do you think about this? I mean, this to me, I mean, I. I'm not going to question or run a review and say, does this really work? Because I've seen people out there on YouTube using this thing. So that's not any of my question anymore. You know, if, if it's something new, nobody's tried, I'll try it out. But I'm not going to be the authority to tell you this is a good antenna. I can tell you for a fact, people love this. Survival Tech Nord likes it. Um, a lot of people like it. So I'm not going to question that. But what do you think, Steve? What, what catches your eye on this? One of the things that ca caught my eye is, of course, the portability. And everything fits in this little, you know, military style bag. Right. We used it at Jamboree in the Air here in Huntsville last month. Oh, I didn't FT8. know that. I didn't know FT8 that. FT8 and FT4, and it was raining here. So, I mean, it wasn't the best conditions. We made about 50, I think we made 50 QSOs on FT8 and FT4 combined. Some, and some were Europe, most of it was US based, but it works and it wasn't tall at all. Yeah, nice. Well, I I mean, more in the future, maybe I'll pick one of the up. You can pick it up. Gigaparts has it. Um, and if you've used this or you have it, please leave a comment below and tell me what you think about it because this is new for me, but I definitely want to check it out in the future. Steve, thank you very much for another bit of your time. These, these guys are great, man. They got people in the store buying stuff. He's like, I'll go help you with the video. So that's great, man. These guys are awesome. Thanks, Steve. You're welcome. 7-3, guys. 7-3, guys.